Hey guys, this is Moss. Today I'm going to show you guys Diana F Plus Buttercup. I bought this from Kinokuniya CC. It's hard to find normal cameras around here. Even the film and film devil thing should be still. Luckily, I found one in some shops that provide those things. It's hard to find some shop near me, but at least there are some around. Okay, here's the box itself. It's kind of nice and beautiful, isn't it? It's simple and colorful too. Okay, let's unbox it. Open it up. So, there's many things inside. It was hidden. Oops. Okay, here's the warranty. Sadly, it can only be used at Japan, and it was written Japanese. No, I cannot use it. Basically, I think it was around for one year warranty, I guess. Okay, here's the mask. The thing that make you choose the image size. Yeah, this is the camera itself, the Diana F Plus with the flash. Yeah, beautiful color and a bit plasticky. Well, it's nice. Okay, this is the colored gel. This is the flash adapter. You can use normal flash with this hot shoe. Yeah, so you can, you know, if you need extra flash, then use it. These are interesting ones. This is some book about Diana F. Plus. Well, it shows some pics that was taken using the Diana camera and some stories too. And this I don't want I don't know why they include this paperwork but it does tell me about the Lomo LC A plus camera and pics that took with it. Okay, and here the instruction manual for the Diana F Plus. You can read things if you you know if you get lost, and it also has an image that shows you what to do, how to unload the film, and more. Okay, here's the shot settings: normal or bulb. Here's the shutter release. Okay. Here's for the place to load the film. Yes, it used 120 film. It's kind of sad that 35 millimeters film is easier to find than 120 ones. So I had a hard time to look for one. But luckily, I found one. <laughs> Okay. There are the focus rings, and yes, this is the colored gel. You can use it by putting it on the flash. Colorful, isn't it? And yeah, I tried. Put the speed light or external flash or whatever it calls with the adapter but I'm not so sure it really if I put it and it does not really fit well I'm not so sure is it okay to use it or it really is I'm not sure 
but it's kind of cool and a bit weird to see this. I don't know. Okay, here's the mask. One with 42 by 42 and one with 46 by 46. Well, it makes you have 16 exposure like that. And here's how to put that mask. Instead, by default, I mean, if you don't put mass on it, you will have 12 exposures. Okay, you need to wind film after you load it, and after you take it, and here, shut the hole or whatever it calls. I don't know. It was to hold the shutter when using bulb mode. Alright, guys. That's it for today. Thanks guys for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.